good morning and welcome to Thought for the Day. And we continue in Colossians chapter 2 this morning. Let me uh, read and then I'll pray. Paul writes, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you that Jesus is Lord, and we thank you that as we come to your word now, we can know that he is our Lord, and we pray that you would indeed be strengthening us in our faith in him, helping us to live those lives overflowing with thankfulness. For we pray it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Well, we're right in the heart of Paul's letter, and some people see these two verses, chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, as in some ways a summary of everything that Paul is trying to say in this letter. And these two verses take the form um, of uh, a look back and a, a sort of look forward or, um, to the present going into the future. They speak of what has already happened in the Colossian Christians, and they outline what Paul's prayer is for them going forward. So you'll see there's couplets all the way through. Paul begins, so then just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him. When the Colossians heard the gospel proclaimed by Epaphras, they uh, turned to the Lord Jesus Christ in repentance and faith. They were converted and they became followers of the Lord Jesus. They uh, took him on as their personal Lord and Saviour. Notice it was Lord, not just teacher or advisor or guru or spiritual air conditioning or lifestyle choice, but Lord. They gave him control of the whole of their life, that old illustration of moving over in the car of their life from the driving seat to the front passenger seat and allowing Jesus to take the wheel. That is what it is for him to be our Lord and as they have done that, as they've received Christ Jesus into their lives as their Lord, so they are to continue to live their lives that way, not to try and wrest back control from him, but to delight for him to be driving their lives. That means that just as they have been rooted in him, just as they've put down roots in the gospel, so they will be built up in him, Paul moving from agriculture to architecture, uh, from a tree being rooted in good soil to a, a building after its foundations have been laid, being built up um, in the truth, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And just as they were taught by Epaphras and, and maybe others since the truth, rather than some of these false teachers who are coming into town, so they are to be strengthened in the faith, so they are to keep growing in that faith. And that's the same for us. Um, in these strange times, uh, maybe it's a little bit different how that's going to look. Um, maybe we have to work a little bit harder ourselves. I guess uh, joining in with Church Online is a very different experience. Um, I don't quite know because I'm in front of the camera. All the rest of you sit the other side of the camera. And I'm sure it's, it's not quite as easy as a normal Sunday morning to engage. It takes a little bit more focus and determination um, to, to sit there and participate in services, to sing along with the truths, to uh, concentrate through the Bible readings and sermons. But that is what it is to seek to be built up in the Lord Jesus Christ, to be strengthened in our faith um, as we were taught. So we need to go on being taught, uh, whether that's by me, whether that's by Johnny and Joe, um, uh, in various opportunities that we have as a church family, whether that's through Bible reading notes that you're using day by day or books that you're reading or other sermons and things online that you're listening to. We want to be filling our minds and our hearts with the truth about the Lord Jesus and very deliberately responding to that truth and underlining day by day Jesus's lordship in our lives that we don't just want to know more but we want to believe what we hear and we want to live what we believe that is what it is for him to be lord of our lives and that's my prayer for us during this time that we would be growing in our faith in the lord jesus christ 
uh, as we have to address these strange times and, and work out our faith in a different context. That's good for us. It will build spiritual muscles and help us to be maturing in Christ. Remember Paul's great desire to see people presented fully mature um, in Christ or in the old NIV, perfect in Christ. That's what we can be working at um, on our own. And then as we have opportunity to chat with others and encourage them to be growing in that way. And if that is what is going on in us, then I think the last thing will necessarily follow on. Then we will be overflowing with thankfulness to live the life we were designed for, to live with Jesus as Lord, to be uh, rooted and built up in him, to be strengthened in our faith, just as we were taught, will necessarily lead to thankfulness because we will be growing in love and wonder for what it means for Jesus to be my Lord that he's rescued me from the dominion of darkness and brought me into the kingdom of, uh, well, his kingdom, the kingdom of the the son God loves, and that we are living that out in our lives, um, living um, according to his wisdom, to his ways. And that is the good life. That is the right life. That is the joyful life. That is the peaceful life. That is uh, what Jesus came to give us, as we've remembered at Easter. So may today be a day of us continuing to live with Jesus Christ as Lord. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you um, continue to be with us in our Christian lives. You don't just uh, cause us to come to you and then leave us to make our own way. But you provide all that we need to go on in the Lord Jesus Christ, to keep growing um, in him, to keep following him. And we pray that you would be providing us with such things in these times. Provide all that we need in our different situations and that we might continue day by day to walk faithfully with him. And we pray it in his precious name. Amen.